What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidigo Vibes here and welcome to another video. Man, it feels good to be back in front of a camera, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't record all of last week because I've been very, very busy. You know what? I've been focusing on this and I had a job interview again, my third and last one, and I didn't even get it. So like, I was shitty for the whole fucking week. So I apologize for not uploading last week, but I have a variety of videos videos that I have lined up and I recorded like months ago. So I'm gonna drop them hopefully this week. So if I have a change in facial hair and like it just looks a little bit different, it's cause it's from like two months ago. And another quick announcement is also that the Uniqlo U collection, Spring Summer 18 does drop tomorrow or today as I'm gonna upload this hopefully. So do check your Uniqlo stores. I will be going in the morning and copying a lot of stuff and show you in an upcoming video. So if you wanna stay up to date and check out when my videos drop, hit that little bell button. It's like a little notification shit. So pretty much as soon as I upload a video, you guys get notified. You can come join the early gang and basically, cause I'm Australian, the time zones are really fucked. But in today's video, basically I'm gonna show you how I style a specific shoot and how I style this specific style of shoot. And it is in fact, my combat boots, these are my SLP, the Saint Laurent Bailly non-zip ranger boots, the 11 eyelid ranger boots. I had to pause, I don't know why. 11 eyelids has no zips on either side and the leather is just, it's just so freaking plush, man. I love these and I wear them like four or five times out of the week because the beauty behind this is that you can style them with everything. Crop trousers, really wide baggy jeans, cuffed, even skinny denim or even slim denim, it works so, so well. So in this video, how many times did I say so? What the fuck? So today I will show you six outfits styling with just the one shoe and like if you want to jump into the combat boots game, I really suggest either saving up money and getting like an SLP or even a Margiela or if you don't have that much money to spend, you can grab a Doc Martin. The Doc Martin gives a nice type, gives off the, almost the same type of vibe. You can get an 11 eyelid or a 12 eyelid, I think. And if you want to go even more like in detail, you can do the Dior style lacing system, which is what I did and they look sick. So the first outfit is basically aimed towards someone who doesn't really know how to style a combat boot. Like they just got them and they don't really know how to wear them. And it's very, very, very simple. It's literally, my black Zara tee, it's a very nice drapey viscose, just wavy tee. It's freaking amazing with like slight distressing because I've had it for like four years and I've washed it all the time and it's just like torn apart pretty much. Head up with my Rick Owen mainline drop crotch drawstring trousers, the most wearable pair of trousers I have in my collection. I wear those with black socks that have to be knee high socks. Like they have to be really freaking high socks. I get them from Uniqlo. You have to wear those with the boots if you wear crop trousers because if you don't, it looks fucking dumb. You have like skin showing and it just doesn't look nice. It needs to be all flown in all black if you're going for that steez. But yeah, the boots, the cropness from the Rick Owen trousers and just the drapiness from the Zara tee gives off that nice Rick aesthetic, which is what I'm going for. And it is a very, very basic fit. Anyone, anyone can really fucking pull it off. You just need to find that just perfect pair of crop trousers and it is very hard to find but I was lucky enough to get the Rick Owen ones and they just fit perfectly and they pair really well with the combat boots. The second fit showcases the same bottom half and you will see throughout this video that I will be showing off pretty much two outfits with each pair of trousers that I use because of the fact I don't have many pants to pair with this and I would include a stone wash but I'm buying them tomorrow or today from the Uniqlo U spring summer 18. But um, this second outfit is my uniform. I wore this all the time. I love it. It is my Rick on, uh, we'll go with the top first, fuck that shit. The Acne Studios Niagara tee, you can swap this out for a basic white tee. It's very, very simple. It just fits me really well and I wear it all the time. Paired up with the Our Legacy original linen shirt in cream slash white. <sighs> this is like uniform. This is fucking amazing. Paired up with my mainline trousers and the boots, like socks. Oh my God, it's like I wear this all the time because it's just, it's so simple, it's so easy. You just throw on a white tee, you throw on a white shirt and that's it. You can change the white shirt for anything else if you want to. You can change the tee if you want to, but I really wouldn't. Keep it nice and elegant and simple with the very monochromatic colors and it's a perfect fit. This third look implements a bit of color and I love, love this color. So underneath, we've got my Uniqlo U mock neck long sleeve. This is from the Uniqlo U Fall Winter 17, I believe. And it's great. It's just oversized. You can keep it really long or you can tuck it in. It's up to you. And I have on top of my Uniqlo U um, oversized 
workwear flannel shirt, but it's just like a simple blood orange type shirt. The mock neck, you can leave it tucked in or not. I decide to just leave it as it is because the next fit will feature tucked in. But underneath, for the pants, Underneath, that makes no sense. The pants that I'm rocking are my Rick Owen Dark Shadow Creech Cargos paired up with the boots. That's like just the ultimate freaking combo. I love, love, love it. It's like an iconic look that you can wear all the fucking time if you want to. Um, so the Creech Cargo has that nice, beautiful, just exaggerated pockets and like, um, what's it called? Like a nylon type belt right throughout, but it's not a belt. And the fit, I think it's missing that bomber jacket type look, the military bomber jacket with the Creech Cargos. I think that would have paired up really well. So that's probably the one thing missing in this fit, honestly. Like, yeah. It's not a perfect fit, I'll be honest, but bomber jacket would have like fucking elevated it to a new level. But this fourth look... One of my favorites. I fucking love this look. So we're going to use the mock neck again because I really want to have that turtleneck type vibe and also break the colors. Because if you use a black one, it's just black on black and it looks dumb. So we've got the Uniqlo U mock neck again, but we've got the Uniqlo seamless down puffer coats. I love this thing, bro, because it's just so like, it's just like pillows, man. Like, oh God, it's so freaking good. And the seamless down, the seamless part of it is that the outside has no seams, so there's no wind going to get through whatsoever. It's got a detachable hood, it's got that nice funnel neck, and it's got an extra funnel neck if you have a hood, so you can really just cover your mouth if it's raining or if it's windy or whatever. Water repellent, and pairing up with my Creech Cargos again, and I actually cuffed them, so it's just rolled up with the boots. <whistles> like, everything's water repellent, dude. It's literally a windy winter rainy day type fit but it looks insane so if you ever want to go into the puffer coat or puffer jacket style go to uniqlo because they've got great great options and the puffer coat wave is coming this year everyone's going to be using puffer jackets and you can just go to uniqlo and they've got a short version of this in a variety of colors so definitely hop on that shit. We're taking a step back with the fifth outfit because honestly, you can wear these boots all year round. This is aimed towards a spring summer night. So on top, I've got my double rainbow icy windy Hawaiian shirt. I believe it's what it is. It's a blue and white oversized Hawaiian shirt and that viscose material and it's freaking beautiful because it's like semi oversized, but you can leave some of the buttons untucked and it has that bowler style or revered collared shirt style on top or for the collar. And on the bottom, we've got my new Ray Tapered jeans, denim. I usually don't ever wear denim, but I decided to really implement it in this outfit and really style these jeans with the denim because it looks freaking amazing. And I love it because it's not that skinny, but it's not that baggy either. It's just like right in between. So it works well for my body and it works well with the fit. So it's just fit kind of throws in like that kind of SLP type vibe, but at a more affordable budget, let's be honest. The only thing missing from this fit is chains and necklaces. That's the only thing. It looks very bare. So, I mean, you can learn from me and put some chains, dude, because this shit, this fit is like a fucking six. You put a chain on it, it's like an eight. So, yeah. And last but not least, using the same pair of jeans, the Ray Tapered jeans from New, which all these will be linked in the description down below, so don't stress. Um, we've got my flannel shirt, which is thrifted. I have it all buttoned up, except I leave the last few. Once again, it is bare, so you will need some like few necklaces or chains to really elevate the fit, which is something I don't have. But on top, I've got my Uniqlo U blouse from Autumn Winter 817, the same collection as the mock neck, um, and also the work shirt. So, I mean, I really implement a Uniqlo U because that shit's fucking lit. I think the blouse just kind of gives like a nice elegant look paired up with the flannel shirt just buttoned up and having that ray tapered new jeans thing gives off a nice, nice, beautiful style. I really, really like it. And this specific outfit I haven't worn yet. I kind of just put everything together and kind of like tried to get an idea of how to pair this last fit with the jeans. And I think it works really well. I think the flannel shirt kind of gives that like complement of color very low key underneath the black blouse. But um, I think the flannel shirt is a little bit too long for my liking. I would have liked it to be like a little bit higher. I think the U-shaped hem from the front and the back of the flannel shirt is a little bit too long, but I mean, you guys let me know in the comments. But those are my six outfits. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought your favorite outfit was. Also, don't forget to click that little notification bell so you can come in and join the early gang. And don't forget to subscribe and join the game because here on Viduga Vibes, I upload one to two videos every single week regarding fashion related content such as this, pickups, reviews of certain, you know, collections and also like shoes and shit like that. So if you want to go ahead and join the gang, hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to check out my recently uploaded video as well, which is over there. And I will see you guys on the next video on Viduga Vibes.
I'm out, guys.